Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Forex Professional Course, Lesson 2, 3.1 day trading strategy using day one support and resistance and the one hour candle confirmation hi everyone so in this video i will be testing the one hour strategy i took forex tester 4 i place a five thousand dollar account and we use for this test uh, uh, usd with uh, ecn data so I will place 1% per trade and uh, we will follow the daily trend with a level of support and resistance with a confirmation on the one hour chart with an angle thin candle uh, entry at the end of the candle or retracement entry. So on this specific moment of, of time we are in a downtrend but uh, I want to, to get more data so I will advance the candle a bit. Okay so now this high is violated and we have a big candlestick going up. So after this specific moment in time, it looks pretty clear that we are in an uptrend. So I will place a level right here. So why right here? Because this, that's the end of yesterday, of the day before yesterday. That's the beginning of yesterday right here. And that's a nice, beautiful rejection downward on this specific direction. So this is my first level and we are in an uptrend. I want to take a buy. So let's switch to the one hour chart. Okay, so price is at our level and we have a nice doji, bearish doji, continued with an inside bar and now we have a bullish angle thing. So I place a trade, let's say for example, I will place 50% of my size, which is 1%, divided by 2, 0 0.5, and my stop loss would be below this low right here. And this is not a sell, it is a buy. And I buy right now and I will place a pending order to try to catch the retracement entry which doesn't occur all the time. So it will be a buy limit. My entry will be in the middle of the candle plus a bit, like 40%. So around here. And my stop loss would be below at the same place. And 50% of my size, same, 0.5% on this trade. And I place the order. Now let's see what happens. So both trades are triggered and we want to take eventually maybe three reward or we can also follow the trend. So for those specific trade, let me set up to three reward. On the retracement entry, I have 15 pip stop loss. So this is this trade right here. So I will put 45 pips. Uh, actually, this is 450 since they talk in micro points right here. So that's my three reward. I modify the order. And on this one, we have like 22 pips. So it will be 66 pip. So 660 as a target profit. I will not uh, detail all this on every trade, but for those one, I display it. And I modify. And now let's go and see what happened. So the first free reward of 0.5% it hit. And on this specific chart, we are in an uptrend. I still trail my stop loss to reduce my size right here. Let's see what happened now. If price uh, break up, I will move my stop loss here and I will let it hit either my stop loss or my target profit. So since we have like a pin bar against us, I will still move my stop loss to break even to be sure. And I let the trade run. Okay, it's quite advancing in our direction. It take out this high. So to take much profit, I will trail my stop again right here. And the target is hit. So we made 3% on each trade. The retracement entry and the end of the candle. Now let's come back to the daily chart and see what the chart look like now. So we are still in an uptrend and the level of resistance, we have one actually right here. So why do I put it here? Because here you have a nice bounce going down and at the same time you have a nice bounce going up. And if you switch on the line chart, the end of the body will be around this level. So this level seems good for me. And eventually I will place a second level right here which is a nice rejection, the last nice rejection going down. Price was going all the way up, reject down and going all the way up now. So this level is quite significant on the daily and it's a nice support. So let's see on the one hour chart what's happening. And at the end of every day, we will check the daily chart. Okay, so price break violently our first level. 
which is against us and now we have a strong dodgy at the second level and we have a bullish bar but it's not an angle thing so i will not enter right here okay so now let's check on the daily chart what happened so i have another level which is the strongest level right here the one that we took some some days ago right here it's a very nice beautiful spike going up so this level is strong we are still in an uptrend so i will remove this level and we just want eventually to buy this specific level and i can eventually adjust this level a bit above in case for this specific range since you see on the four hour chart that's the end of the body right here and the spike right here so this will be more a zone for me now let's look on the one hour chart so it touched the level made an inside bar so inside bar means you have this bar right here and the next bar trade within the previous one that's an inside bar so let's see what happened now we have a break of this one but not very strong going up so i will not take this trade and i was right because price come back to the level now we have a nice bullish engulfing candle and same same apply i will enter at the end of the candle so right now 50 percent of my size stop loss below right here i buy and i will place a penny order at the retracement a bit more than 50 percent around 40 percent stop loss right here i place the order and now let's check our target profit if we take three reward so we have like 18 pips on the biggest trade so this one so 18 pips times three it's uh, 54 540 so this is my target profit for the first trade i modify the order and let's see if the second trigger the second didn't trigger very near to it Maybe I was wrong placing the 40% retracement. I think I was wrong. It should have triggered. Uh, but anyway, uh, tac, tac, I will wait a bit more. I wait usually one day for the retracement entry to, to trigger. If it doesn't trigger after one day, I cancel the trade. So this is one day. It hit my target profit for half of the trade. So I will just delete this order. And we win. We win the first trade. So now we are... Five thousand dollar two hundred, which is already nearly uh tac 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 five percent in only three trades. So let's continue. So reject nicely this level, continue up, and let's check the daily chart, see if we get another level. Okay, we do. So reject very nicely this level, what rejected right here very nicely at the same time. So I will eventually place my level at the end of the body right here, which is a nice level. And eventually, I will fine tune a bit on the forward chart, see what happened. My level could have been a bit higher because it doesn't violate those candle right here. So that's it. And I will delete this level. And now I move to the one hour chart. If I touch my level, made a kind of a dodgy, bullish dodgy, a dodgy against me, and now break up. But it's far away from the level, so I will not enter this trade. Actually, we have a bullish pin bar right here, so I'm quite tempted to take this trade. I will take it, but I will take only 0.5% of my account. My stop loss would be below right here, and my target profit from here, three times, so 20 points. 20 points, it's 60, so 600, and I move it, and that's it. I modify my order, and my trade is ready to be taken. Now let's see what happened, and it's a losing trade, so I lost only... 0.5% of my account on this trade, which is not much. So let's see what happened next. So price come back to the level right here and reject very strongly this candle. Let's see what happened if we get an angle thing. So we have an angle thing right here, but I will recheck the daily chart because I'm not very sure of this level. So this level, as you can see, was touched one time, two times, and this is the third time and it's continued to viol violate down additional to that there is a big daily candle right here and finally additional again to that you have a swing high right here a swing a bit higher so this becomes a point of reference and this point of reference is violated even if no candle closed below it's not a good sign that the, the trend will continue up so i will not take this specific level Aside of that, I will go for eventually a lower level, which is right here. So this level right here was rejected with a big body candle right here, and it's a nice one. So if we want to buy, we have eventually this one. And if the candle closes below this level, we will want to sell. So just for today, we want to buy, and after that, we will want to sell. 
So we have an angle thin candle. So we will take this angle thin candle. So same process. I buy my stop loss is below right here. Now I will check for my target profit. So my stop loss is around 25. So it will be 75. Mm -hmm. So 750. And that's it. And I will place a retracement entry. Buy limit at price. So 40% around right here. Stop loss below. And uh, place order. And if it trigger, we will place a three reward on this one too. Let's check. So it trigger. So let's check this one now. We have on this trade 19 pips. So it will be 57 pips as a target profit. So 57 is 570 right here. And I modify and we're good to go. And it's a losing trade. So we lost 1% on this trade. As I was saying to you, um, this day, the day previous was very strong going down. So likely downtrend. Okay, so it continued down and now we will update on the daily chart. So now it's clear that the trend is changing from up to down. So we want to sell. So what are the levels that we have? We have this strong level right here. So for rejection, when it comes back to it, it's a nice one. And we have a weaker resistance right here. This one right here is a weaker right here. So in case we just check and we have also a support counter trend so we can take eventually less reward on this one right here if we get a pattern. Now let's look on the one hour chart. Okay, so price break with one hour candle strong going down and this is strong. So this level is broken down with big candle so we will see what happened there. We have an angle thing, a bullish one and this is counter trend so the pattern is not very clear. So yeah, I don't take this trade. I wait for another level on the top to take. Okay, so now that this level is broken, we can check on the daily right here. You can see this spike is broken down. It was a very strong spike. So eventually we can take a sell around this level following the actual daily trend. So when we get this strong, it's a very strong pin bar. You can see the pin is like 90% of the body of this candle. So for this one, I will take the same uh, practice. I enter at the end of the candle for a sell, stop loss above, and I will enter with a pending order as a sell limit at 40% of it, which should be around right here. Stop loss still above, same. Okay, so now this trade, the end of the candle trade, as a 23 pip stop loss so it will do 69 so 690 pips target profit and we modify and the next we see if it triggers it triggers also so the second trade we have like 15 pips only stop loss so on this specific trade we will place 450 as a target profit three times the risk and it's a losing trade so let's continue. Okay, so price break above this level right here with a very strong candle. So this level was making a head. This is a shoulder, left shoulder. This is a head right here and the right shoulder right here. That's a good sign. We have nice uh, way to buy here. So I will try to buy at the retracement of this big candle right here. So I place a buy limit. This one is counter trend. So I place just a retracement entry with 50% of my size stop loss below it's a very strong candle going up so it should be nice and i place the order or you can even triplice one percent at retracement only so trigger perfect now let's continue it's a good sign price breaks this high so now our stop loss is break even so it's like a no risk trade and go very nicely sorry let me check my target profit should be around uh, 90 pips so let's let's set 90 pips on this one Okay, right here. I modify my order, it's very near. And we are in a downtrend, remember, and we have those two levels to sell. So if we see an angle thing around here, it would be nice. And look at my target profit, it's just above the second level of resistance. So since we have two levels of resistance right here, eventually I will take my, my target profit in the middle of those two lines, which is around 2, 2.5 reward. And let's see what happens since I know I am in downtrend. And my target profit is hit. So I win money on this specific trade. Now uh, let's see if we got an angle thing, a bearish angle thing. We don't. 
Oh, we have a trade right here. So by security, I am in retracement. I will take only retracement because the candle is very little. And I will place my stop loss above the high right here by security. And I take 1% since I am with the trend on this specific trade. So that's it. And now let's check for my target profit. So we have like uh, 24 points stop loss. So it should be one, uh, uh, 750. That's it. And now let's continue our trade. And it hit our target profit very nicely. I have been a bit fast. I could have trained my stop right here. And after you could have traded your stop right here. And it's a beautiful winning trade with the daily trend. That's why it won. So, so far, if I look at my account, I have 5,300. And uh, tac, tac, how many trades did we take? We took 11 trades and 6%. Uh, we made 6%, 11 trades. And uh, we lost 4 five and we win one two three four five so it's a 50 percent win rate but when you win you win three rewards so it's a pretty good uh strategy for now it makes you like 10 percent of your account in no time so let's come back to the trading so let's check the daily chart to see what happened there now we are in a downtrend we have a rejection quite strong of this level with a big bullish angle thing right here which means even if we are counter trend, we might see a bullish move continue to retrace. And our next level with the trend to sell would be around this level right here. Because we have a nice rejection right here and two nice rejection for buy right here. So this might be a level where we want to sell right here. And I, where is the price right now might be a level we want to buy also. So if we get a strong pattern, eventually we will enter for a buy. I check the 4 hour chart for the buy to see a little bit more and uh, yeah the level is is quite nicely where it is I will see now let's check the 1 hour chart okay so price didn't give me something very neat at the level there is rejection but it's not touching really the level so I don't like it and now price penetrate this level so we might continue the downtrend let's see what happens and this level was good to buy, so actually I can tr I can remove it. It's not useful anymore. I see a very nice, beautiful angle thing right here. See, you have a range right here. Range, range. Make kind of an uptrend, and now you have an angle thing. And this angle thing angles nearly all the range from here to here. So this is a very strong pattern. So I check on the daily in case. What was this level? And this level was actually the bottom of this spike which is a very strong rejection right here from here. The price may all the way up. So I, I will buy this angle thing. And I buy at the end of the candle, same process. Buy stop loss below, below this low. I set up a pending order, so buy limit. So 40% should be around here actually. And stop loss below, once again, place order. Now let's see what happens. So price didn't trigger my retracement entry and lift up right away. So if it breaks clearly this level, I will train my stop. So price made another angle thing right here. Uh, I would be quite, quite tempted to trail my stop loss by security. Yeah, so my stop loss is trail. Let's see what happens. Okay, so one stop loss was hit with a very little uh, loss. And the retracement entry was triggered with a very beautiful pin up pin bar. So I trade my stop right away. I don't lose any money and price continue to go up. So I let my stop see what happened. I would like to take more than that. And my stop loss was originally 30 points. So I should take 90, 900 here. I will protect some of my profits right here, be sure. And it hit my target profit, so I made money on this one. So now we wait the level above for a sell eventually. Okay, now it touch, and it's an inside bar, not really an angle thing. Okay, breaks the level, didn't create any pattern. So now we will check on the daily chart again. So what do we get? We got this high, low, breaking the, lo the low. So this zone right here is a nice level of resistance. So I will place my level right here. 
and eventually a bit above right here there i want to sell sorry the market so let's check the one hour chart inside bar broken down and now we have a bearish pin bar right here i will enter this bearish pin bar my stop loss above right here okay it's uh price is really ranging inside with a little loss there is no really sign that the price will go up except right now so yeah well it's a losing trade now let's continue finish this day and check the daily chart okay so on this day we have a candle that break above this high right here so now we are in an uptrend definitely so first level in this uptrend is uh, same this level the one that didn't create a pattern and the second level for a buy would be with where we have all those spikes right here same level as before but since now it has been broken up it might be a good level to to buy again so now let's check a pattern on the one hour chart okay price touch the level as you can see and a perfect angle thing bullish right here so i place a buy right here stop loss below buy like 30 pips so 90 pips target profit perfect and I will place a retracement entry, a buy limit at 40% right here. Stop loss below, place order. And this trade, if it trigger, we will place a three times reward, stop loss. A trigger. So now we have this one. And uh, there was 19 pip stop loss. So it should be around six, 600 target profit. I modify and that's it. Okay, one trade is stopped out and the second stopped out too. So this one is a loss. Let's continue. So it looks like this was a stop hunt because now we have another bullish angle thing. So I will re-enter my trade. I lost the first. My stop loss is below this spike right here. And okay for a buy. On this one, the stop loss value is around 30. So 90 again, 90. And I will place a retracement entry by limit at 40% right here. Stop loss, same as, as this one. Place order. Okay. Didn't trigger the buy limit. We'll go up right away continue so this seems to be the the new high forming from here to here so if it breaks here i will trail my stop loss and for now my stop loss stay where it is okay it breaks this level so now i trail my stop loss right here okay good now let's continue okay and it hit our three reward so we are now at five thousand four hundred dollars so basically, I will stop the video right here because it takes a lot of time, but you see how it works. It's not very complicated and it's quite efficient. Uh, as of right now, we have made 8% of the account and maybe in 15 trades, so it's not a big deal. If you analyze more than one pair, you might have a good progression over the months. Uh, and that's it. So I hope you understand the strategy. If you have any question outside of that, ask me. Like any strategy, I would recommend that you take at least 200 trade with uh, Forex Tester 4, which is an excellent platform to own your skills. And after that, you need at least to multiply your demo account by three before you go trade with real money with this strategy. But this strategy is pretty simple and profitable. So you can make money in a very short amount of time with this. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.